Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of my curriculum picks for first grade for the year 2021-2022 for Evelyn. If you guys are interested to see what I'm going to be using with Evelyn, stay tuned. So before I turn the camera around, I do want to let you guys know that I am still waiting on a couple things that I ordered for my boys. I'm going to try to have the videos out for curriculum picks for both of them, hopefully in the next week or so. Okay, so here's a quick look as to everything that I'll be using with Evelyn for the square. Let me go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and I'll go a little bit more in depth. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by showing you guys in the order that we normally do our schoolwork on a regular basis. So we normally start with handwriting. So for handwriting, we're going to go ahead and continue with the Teach Me Handwriting curriculum. You guys have seen this in the past in my videos. We're pretty early on. We're going lesson by lesson, but for each lesson, it does have quite a few pages. So we're still working from this. Evelyn seems to really like this book, so we're going to go ahead and just keep working from it. As far as reading goes, we are sticking to the reading lesson. In the past, I've used a lot of different reading programs and... When it comes to Evelyn, this seems to be working just fine and it takes a fraction of the time that some of the other curriculums have taken us to do one lesson. In particular book, we only do one page a day because we tend to do the pages pretty repetitive. So if you guys are not familiar with this program, I do have a full flip through and I'll link that in the description box. This is a mastery program, so this is something that we take very, very slow considering it is only 20 lessons. Each lesson is about 20 pages each. This program is really working for her, so we're going to continue to use this. Okay, for phonics, we're going to go ahead and stick to Explode the Code. Okay, and so now for language arts. For language arts, you guys know how I feel about the hardcore trophies. This is a literature-based curriculum, and basically what you do is you have one story for the whole entire week, and then you have your practice book that teaches you different things when it comes to phonics, um, sequencing the stories. Um, what else do you get? You get grammar, you get a little bit of spelling. It's just a pretty full uh, language arts curriculum. So I've used this in the past. This is actually my third time using this particular curriculum with my kiddos. And um, I have not purchased her the volume two book because I'm going to feel her out. I do use some printables that I purchased in the past from Hardcore Trophies. We'll be using those. Now, the reason I say that I haven't purchased Volume 2 is because I've used this three times already in the past, this uh, particular grade level. My oldest son loved the workbook. My middle son preferred the printable pages. pages. Evelyn tends to like and gravitate more towards... Um, workbooks but I'm going to feel her out because the pages that I do print out are just a little bit more hands-on they're a little bit more coloring cutting and pasting kind of pages so I'm going to feel her out now if I feel like she's liking the workbook more then I'm going to go ahead and order volume two if I feel like she's liking the printables more then I'll just continue to push the printables more so she's still going to be learning a lot of the same stuff that is introduced in the books so this is our uh, language arts program so now, because I wasn't able to find the grammar companion to this book, not only that, the grammar companion to this, to me, is a little, um, I wouldn't say advanced. It's not advanced. It's just more writing. Evelyn likes to write, but she likes to draw and cut and paste and glue and things like that a lot better. So because of that, I went ahead and bought her this little grammar workbook. And this is by a TPT store called My Teaching Pal. Yeah. I just like the way it was laid out a little bit better. Um, I'm also not using the Muppet Girl grammar and language arts because I feel like for Evelyn, it's a little too advanced. Even though it's a grade level one that I own, um, my son, which is still working from it, he has trouble with some of the pages sometimes. There's a lot more reading that goes with the Muppet Girl one. So I found this one, and this one to me was just so much more of like an easier approach to grammar and introducing grammar and um i went ahead and just got this one instead go ahead and link that in the description box so this is going to be our grammar for this school year now for spelling this introduces spelling but i don't like the spelling pages when you purchase the hardcore trophies the spelling book the companion 
it has a lot of crossword puzzles and it has a lot of um, word searches and things like that. Evelyn is not into that. And that is why I decided to instead just get her the uh, Building Spelling Skills Grade 1 by Evan Moore. I took advantage of one of the sales they had in the beginning of the year. And um, I purchased a couple PDFs from them. So I went ahead and got this one. Some of the words, and I kind of looked with the The one thing I love about Evan Moore is that they allow you to sample pretty much the whole entire book before buying it. It does follow some of the sequence when it comes to some of the words introduced in this book. So I decided to go ahead and go for it. Not only that, I like the activities a lot better than I did with the companion, the spelling companion for the hardcore trophies. So I went ahead and just go ahead. I just went ahead and got this instead for Evelyn. So that is what we're going to be working out of as far as spelling goes. So that here is going to be her complete language arts curriculum there. So now, um, so now before I move on to our literature, I wanted to make sure that I, I'm going to go ahead and link because I did a, do a complete flip through of this curriculum along with, I believe, some of the other grade levels that I own. I'll go ahead and link those in the description box can, so you guys can go check out a uh, more in-depth look into the Harcourt trophies. Now for literature. Now, this is the first time I've done this for you guys. I usually We usually do our reading journal with books, but I've never picked out the books ahead of time. I usually just kind of go week by week and pick out different books from our own collection here and then we do our reading journal this is the first year that I decided to go ahead and pull out the books ahead of time and make a list for myself just so it's easier for me since I now I'm going to be full-time schooling three different kids so I figured this is going to be easier for me when it comes to planning literature I don't use a curriculum when it comes to Evelyn she's only in first grade so the easiest way for me to do it is just use have her use my reading journal. And what I did for the first couple weeks of my, my own personal reading journal is I simplified it for her. All the different pages that I usually use for my boys, I use some of the simpler three pages and then I added the making connection, which is just like a little cross-curricular. I can just give her a little writing prompt and she can just kind of do her own thing. This, I just kind of figure it out as I go. But I simplified the journal for her so like that she can make it uh, so it can be just a little bit more enjoyable for her. Towards the end, I did I went ahead and added the other pages with the new words and what would you change to the story? Because um, I figured by the time we get towards the end of this book, she'll probably understand how to use this book a little bit better. So before I show you guys or I share the titles with you guys, I do want to explain that I didn't just pick titles to pick titles. I picked titles based on the hardcore trophies. So what I did was I made a list of all the stories in the hardcore trophies and any subject matter or um, anything that we're going to be covering when it comes to the hardcore trophies. I jotted little notes for every story and then I went ahead and looked for books in my own uh, library here having to do with the same topics just so we can kind of stay in topic for every week. So for instance, let me give you guys an example. Take the first story of hardcore trophies the first week. The story is called The Hat, and it's basically about a little girl that loses her hat with a gust of wind. So what I did was I just went in my collection and I found the story Who Took the Farmer's Hat, which is basically kind of the same thing in the sense that the farmer loses his hat um, due to a gust of wind. And then later on, he finds it a bird or he finds a bird using it as a nest. And it's such a cute little story. So I figure for the reading journal, this is a perfect story that can go along with this. We can definitely do more of a unit on the wind, weather, um, pretty much anything. So I'm trying to kind of combine some of the stories. So another example would be, um, for instance, Sam in the Bag is a story just about kittens. So I decided we're going to do Kittens First Moon. So like that, you guys can kind of understand where I'm going with this. And I'm not just having her read uh, these picture books um, just to read them. They all have a reason why. And um, the stories like I said, are aligned with our Harcourt trophies. I'm going to show you guys some of the other stories we'll be uh, reading this year with our reading journal. And the only reason I decided to do this is because I've had people ask me what books do I, what picture books or what stories do I introduce at what grade level. So for first grade, this is, these are the literature that I'm going to pick for her. So we get
gonna go ahead and show you guys our math. You guys have seen this uh, before in my other update video. So we're gonna continue to work for math, math Mammoth. She loves this curriculum and um, we're gonna just go ahead and continue with this. Okay, so on Fridays, we do all of our electives. We start off our day with our directive drawing. This is something new that we started doing this year. We used to do draw and write, and the kids got a little bored with that, so we decided to just do directive drawing. All three of the kids just prefer this a lot better. So that is what we're doing on Fridays for writing. For social studies, Evelyn is now working from the social studies grade level one all together. Here is her little textbook, and then here is her workbook. This is something that we actually, I introduced to her a couple of weeks ago, and she's doing great with it. So she loves her little social studies curriculum, and so this is what we're using. And so now for geography, she's been working out of the level K workbook for the DK geography books. Um, this is a first grade level one. I'm going to feel her out. I feel like these are pretty simple for her. We kind of, we can probably do a lot more than just one page a day. But um, this is something that I found here at a thrift store a couple of weeks ago. And it's a grade level one. And I think she might enjoy this one a little bit better. You get a map and then you have a couple different things that you would have to answer based on this map. And um, I feel like it seems just a little bit more exciting. So I'm going to feel her out. I'm going to see if she wants to continue working from this or if she didn't jump into this one. The one thing I don't like about this one is that it's a Monday through Friday curriculum where we only do geography one day a week. So I'm going to try to see if we can just do all of this because it doesn't seem excessive. I feel like we can do all of this in one day. Um, the questions seem to be pretty simple and it seems like a lot of it just has to do with coloring. So I'm going to feel her out. We'll see. They're both pretty great resources. So before I move into science, um, I, I do want to let you guys know that as far as Evelyn goes, we don't do history. She has absolutely no interest in history at this age. I have tried having her sit through some of it and she just won't. So it's not going to be something that I push on her. She's enjoying her social studies just fine. So we're going to go ahead and just continue doing the social studies and the geography. So now on Fridays, we also do science. Now, as far as science goes, I went ahead and purchased her this Science Lessons and Investigations for Grade 1. This is one of the other books that I took advantage of when Evan Moore was having that sale. So what I did is I already went ahead and printed them out, and I just put them into different booklets. This is more of like a different, like little units rather than a workbook. So each one of these little books covers different topics. It's really simple, and obviously I'm going to be sitting with her and working from this with her. Um, I also purchased the Evan Moore, I believe it's called the Big Science Resource Book. It's on my computer. I haven't printed out yet anything from it, but I figure um, it's pretty hands-on, so I figure if there's anything that I need to print out for her. But I do like this one because at the end of every unit, there's a little craft that she can build. So she's actually really excited about getting this started. Okay, guys, so that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that look into Evelyn's curriculum for this next school year. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said before, I'm going to try to link everything that I can possibly remember down in the description box. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time.